We've always had a number of complaints sort of year on year about how struggling ratepayers uh, in, in financial hardship are dealt with uh, by the local councils. Um, particularly with the pandemic last year, I wanted to see more broadly how people would be treated uh, by their local councils if they did fall into debt and whether practices across councils were fair and reasonable. We found very widely varying practices across Victoria's 79 councils. Some councils managed these issues very well, but some had practices that couldn't be justified or were simply um, unfair. I mean, too many people are told their only option is a payment plan, you know, when the, the legislative framework actually allows for deferrals and waivers. And, and some councils simply have a blanket policy of refusing them, not even considering them at all. Now, that's not right. Discretion, uh, not sledgehammer refusals, should be the order of the day. Charging penalty interest to people in hardship is punitive and, and, and counterproductive. It, it's um, impossible to justify. What it does is push people further in, into debt, into a debt that they just continue to accumulate. Some councils were simply too quick to sue. Uh, and, and what was particularly distressing was uh, circumstances where people with um, fleeing from family violence, for example, uh, incurred a, a, a rates debt were being taken to court over that debt, and people with mental health issues are being taken to court. Um, again, practices that um, really couldn't be justified. Well, rather surprisingly, and indeed disturbingly, when it comes to hardship, uh, it seems that local councils lag behind utility companies, and indeed, in, in, in some cases, banks. I think we should be concerned if our local councils, who we expect to act in the public interest, uh, are doing a poorer job of dealing with hardship than our bank. Too many councils have an over-reliance on, on debt collectors um, who can use heavy-handed practices that, that add even further stress and distress to, to people who are already in significant uh, distress. We saw examples of good practice and bad practice right across the sector, uh, including in metropolitan Melbourne and regional Victoria. Some councils in both places did it really well. Some were described as exemplary and others were described as paternalistic and punitive. I understand the concerns of particularly smaller rural councils who depend heavily on rates revenue, who are understandably concerned that the burden of unpaid rates falls heavily onto other ratepayers, you know, and why should they pick up the burden? But um, good hardship schemes get the balance right. My key recommendations include greater protection for ratepayers in hardship and, and more consistency across councils. There should be a consistent definition of financial hardship and councils should be required to have a policy. Uh, there needs to be greater oversight of debt collectors uh, and practices such as penalty interest uh, need to be much more closely examined and rates to be capped. <laughs>